Here's a great cooking video. Please subscribe to CB99 videos. Hey, I'm Carla. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make what I'm calling hamburger helper, which is really burger helper, and I'm going to use turkey burgers. So turkey burger helper for the modern age in the Instant Pot. Some of the ingredients I'm going to use are four carrots chopped up, two to three dried hot peppers. Next, I take my hot peppers, just break them up a little bit, and put them in the Instant Pot. Two cups dry brown rice washed, about 10 ounces of sliced mushrooms. I'm using these black trumpet mushrooms because I had them. Two washed potatoes and two peeled onions, diced and chopped. Now I've diced two medium-sized onions and I'm going to put them right into the Instant Pot. An entire head of chopped garlic. So I just chop up the garlic and if there's going to be a little bit of skin from the cloves on there, honestly, I leave it on and I haven't noticed anything bad about leaving it on when it goes into the stew. So I leave it as an exercise to you, however clean you want to clean your garlic, however finely you want to chop your garlic, go ahead and do it. This is the garlic that I'm putting in. It's one head of garlic. It's a large head and I've chopped it up not that finely. It's pretty much okay. So that's what I did. That's going into the Instant Pot. So next I take about two tablespoons of curry. This is my homemade curry, so you can see a recipe. I have that on the Carla's Kitchen curry video. But here I'm going to take just about two heaping tablespoons. So really pile it in and throw it on. I think that's enough. Maybe a little quarter tablespoon more because I love curry powder. Next I add four to four and a half cups of liquid. In this case, I use pickle juice and some water I use to filter the mushrooms with. Here I have just under three cups of this mushroom water. This is just the water that I washed the mushrooms in and then I filtered it. So I'm gonna put that in here because it still smells like mushrooms. It smells so wonderful. So I'm gonna put that in here. I like to put in the juice of one lemon, at least one lemon, but I'm gonna do one in here. So I take these all natural turkey burgers from, they're called Nature's Place. I got them from Hannaford's. You can get them probably in most grocery stores under some similar name uh, and packaging. And it's called, notice that they have no artificial ingredients, minimally processed and so forth. And these are frozen turkey burgers. So they are, it says keep frozen and they are frozen. So now I'm going to put six turkey burgers in here. This is my hamburger helper or turkey burger helper for approximately six to eight people. So I put six burgers in there. And I just put them in whole. I just put one in, this is two, three, four, five, six. There are six turkey burgers in there. Kind of looks a little bit silly there. We've got the turkey burgers sitting on top of the mushrooms and all the liquid. So the final ingredient that I forgot to mention and I always like to use is some store-bought brown mustard. This is Hannaford's brand. This is actually very nice spicy mustard. And I put in probably at least a tablespoon, probably a tablespoon and a half. And here's what it looks like. Now I'm ready to put the lid on. Okay, I got my lid on and I like to put this on the meat stew and I'm gonna let it cook for 15 minutes. It's two cups of rice, six burgers. Now it's on, it's going to warm up, get to pressure. It's on high pressure and it will get to normal cooking temperature and it'll cook and it'll let me know when it's done and I'll show you what it looks like. So the Instant Pot just turned off and now we brought it outside because we want to get the steam out of there. So we're just going to open that up and let the steam come out. You can see that the red pin there is in the up position because of the pressure and so the lid is locked on. 
Once that steam is released, the pin will drop and we'll be able to unlock the lid to the instant pot. Look, the pin dropped down. Finally, after five minutes, the pin has dropped down. Okay, so now we're back inside, out of the rain, and I can take the lid off because it has been unlocked. And we're gonna see what this looks like. It's gonna look a little crazy. The last ingredient that I like to add is some bag of frozen vegetables. Okay, so I usually add a bag of frozen vegetables at the end. And so I'm gonna put in the frozen vegetables here, and then I'm going to just take a spoon and chop everything up. Mix everything in and chop it up, chopping up these burgers as they come across them. And we have the mushrooms are all cooked now into this thing. The rice is all cooked. You can see it's all cooked. And it's got a nice yellowish color that comes from the yellow-brown color, the brown color coming from the mushrooms and the mushroom sauce. And the, the yellow color coming from the curry powder. And so this is what I'm calling hamburger helper for the modern age, which is turkey burger helper for the modern age. Because I don't eat hamburger, beef hamburgers, but I eat turkey burgers. So it's burger helper for the modern age. You can do it with beef if you like. And I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. This is a yummy Instant Pot meal. I cooked it for 15 minutes. The whole thing prepped to cook probably is about an hour. Not more than that. Now I forgot to put some pepper in, cook it in black pepper, but I like to have a little black pepper in there. So I'm grinding whatever I can get out of this pepper shaker as well. And you can salt it if you like. I don't, I don't use a lot of salt, but the mustard that I put in has salt in it. Hi Clyde. Let's see, I got this uh, hamburger helper, this turkey burger helper in front of you. I want you to try it and tell me what it's like. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Is it good? Really good? It's really good. So this yeah. is burger helper for the modern age. Hope you, mm. hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Dara's a happy man. Please subscribe to CB99 videos.